Hello students, welcome back. I hope all of you and everyone in your family is fine. Today we will start with the second chapter of your syllabus, Interdependence in Living Beings, that is plants and animals. The topics that I will cover today are, first is environment and second is producers and consumers. We will know its definition and the types. Environment We all know that living beings need clean air, water and soil to survive. All these things surround us. So the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives is called an environment. Now this environment has been divided into two types of components. The first is biotic components and the second is abiotic components. Now you must have heard about the terms living things and non-living things. Now the proper scientific term that is used for living things and non-living things is biotic components and abiotic components. Now what are biotic components? All living things on earth are called biotic components. Examples are plants, animals, fungi, bacteria. And abiotic components, all non-living things are called abiotic components. An example will be water, sunlight, wind, soil and gases. Now coming to the second topic that is producers and consumers. Now we have studied about biotic components. So these living things or biotic components based on their ability to make food that is whether they make food or whether they do not make food they are divided into consumers and producers. Then consumers are further divided into herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, scavengers and decomposers. We will learn more about these terms in this video. Now first let us understand the meaning of the words producers and consumers in which the biotic components are divided. Now producers, by the name you can understand its meaning. It means organisms which prepare or produce their own food are called producers. So in our environment who produces food? Yes, you are right. All green plants. All plants produce their own food. They give us fruits and vegetables. So all green plants are producers as they prepare their own food. And what is the process by which they produce their own food? It is photosynthesis. Now coming to consumers. <clears throat> organisms which depend on plants or other living organisms for food are called consumers. That is, these organisms consume the food prepared by the producers. They take up the food and use it, eat it. All animals, all animals are consumers as they cannot prepare their own food. We are dependent on the plants for our food. Now, as I earlier told you that consumers are divided into five types. It is divided on the basis of the eating habits of the consumers. The first is herbivores. The animals which feed only on plants are called herbivores. These animals do not eat anything else except plants. The examples are sheep, zebra, giraffe and cow. Second is carnivores. Those animals which feed on other animals are called carnivores. They do not eat plants, they eat the flesh of other animals. The examples are fox, wolf, lion and shark. The third type is omnivores. 
those animals which feed on both plants and animals are called omnivores that is these type of consumers or animals can eat both the plants also and animals also depending on what they get the examples are human beings like us pigs hens and bear the next type of consumers are scavengers Now, those animals which feed on remains of dead plants and animals are called scavengers that is they will eat the flesh of dead animals or they will eat dead plants these animals help to keep the environment clean by feeding on these dead plants and animals some examples are jackal crow hyena and vulture now the fifth and the last type of consumers are decomposers what are decomposers those organisms which can break down dead remains of plants and animals to release nutrients are called decomposers these type of consumers are very important for our environment why firstly because it cleans up the environment by eating dead plants and animals second it can break down complex nutrients into simpler nutrients into the soil so that the plants can absorb and use these nutrients for their growth the decompose some decomposers are bacteria and fungi all the bacteria and fungi act like decomposers in the environment so that would be it for this part of the video this is a small chapter so i have divided it into only two parts in the second part of the video we will study about food chain and balance in nature till then students please stay at home stay healthy